Hello, this is Psychic Treasures Unlimited here to talk to you about the astrology of March, which brings us the spring equinox kicking off eclipse season, the new moon in Pisces this coming weekend, and many other important planetary changes. To be perfectly frank, many of us are feeling edgy right now with so many difficult squares and so many planets direct, often bringing us chaotic, fast-moving, explosive energies, be they connected to natural events, space events, astrological events, human-induced events, events in your personal life, etc. If you are feeling a bit rattled, you, you are definitely not alone. We always recommend grounding to restorative nature to bring yourself back into balance, connecting to the breath in mindfulness and meditation, enjoying a distant Reiki session or whatever self-soothing practice works for you. Prioritize your mental and emotional health. It is important right now, and we are here to help. March 8th has Mercury conjuncting Neptune in Pisces. This is the energy of imagination and dreaming and brings a ton of psychic and intuitive energies. This is a time for forward thinking and very productive ideas could potentially be brought to the world stage. It is a time for new ideas and new beginnings. This is a great time to journal your visions, work on your psychic gifts, pay attention to signs and symbols and your dreams, which will probably be wild, and get a psychic or tarot reading if you are inclined that way. On March 9th, Mars squares Uranus, which can bring aggression, rebellion, people snapping, and impulsive energy in general. So be careful around this time and perhaps just lay low. This energy can also relate to seismic activity, power outages, cyber attacks, travel disruptions, etc. The next day, Sunday, March 10th, brings us the new super moon in Pisces in the early morning hours. A super moon is when the moon is very close to the Earth, and this is the second of five new super moons in a row, giving us a lot of manifesting power over the coming months. Remember, we cannot see the new moon, it is when the sky is dark. The sextile to Uranus should make this a positive new moon. Remember, this is a time to light a candle and focus on visualizing and bringing in something you would like to manifest. We do recommend focusing on one intention at a time. So with this new moon, focus on manifesting that one top priority and speak as though it is already here. This is how you bring things into form. You visualize them as if they have already occurred. In Psychic Pisces, this is a great energy in which to dream, so work on manifesting that special dream of yours. This new moon can bring some surprising magic, and Pisces is connected to empathy, kindness, compassion, unity, healing, divinity, and psychic ability. This new moon has important power and a lot of emotion, and we recommend focusing some energy on helping the collective in general rather than just your own personal desires. This is a great time to work on your psychic or intuitive gifts and keep a dream journal. We recommend writing your dreams down as soon as you wake up. On March 11th, Venus enters Pisces, which is awesome energy for your relationships and your love life. On March 14th, the moon conjuncts Uranus square to Mars, which will again bring that impulsive, rebellious, reactive, revolutionary energy of Mars. 
this energy of awakening, revolution, and evolution will be a strong theme this entire year. Our planet has moved into a different part of the sky and the photon belt. The outer planets are all shifting signs over the next few years. So we are in the crucible of change that our spiritual guides told us was coming in early 2020, and we are all definitely feeling it by now. On March 17th, the sun in Neptune provides another good day for developing your psychic gifts. There can be a lot of murkiness and confusion with Neptune energy, so tap into your inner guide. You could also have a tendency to overdo it on St. Patrick's Day in these murky and watery Neptune energies, so be aware of that if you are celebrating. On March 18th, Mercury conjuncts the North Node in Aries, which could bring important conversations that provide insight. March 19th brings us the vernal or spring equinox in Aries here on the East Coast. This is the first day of spring, a time of year when the day and night are of equal length. This equinox emphasizes themes of Pluto and Aquarius, which are truth, freedom, human rights, equality, technological advancements, and innovation in general. Aries emphasizes strength and sovereignty. Then on March 20th, Mercury conjuncts Chiron, which can bring beautiful healing conversations on the heels of the emotionally charged spring equinox. On March 21st, Venus conjuncts Saturn, which could lead you to feeling lonely or alone, especially if you are focused on certain personal relationships and whether or not they are right for you. On March 22nd, Mars enters Pisces, which will encourage us to use our intuition and act on our gut instincts. Eclipse season in general often brings destined or fated events to our lives things that were meant to happen, but surprises that can temporarily shake things up. This could be things like births, deaths, job loss or change, marriage, divorce, big life events in general. Eclipse season therefore tends to be highly charged and emotional. This is a very important time to tune in, to pay particular attention to signs, synchronicities, and your intuition. Our first lunar eclipse occurs on March 25th at 5 degrees of Libra. Eclipses are connected to the nodes and this south node eclipse in Libra, which is a sign connected to relationships and a node connected to the past, could bring up past relationships. You might reconnect with an ex or break unhealthy patterns connected to a relationship. With this strong focus on relationships, this eclipse could bring news of engagements, marriages, breakups, divorces, meeting the love of your life, etc. All kinds of topics connected to relationships. Whatever changes are occurring in your relationships should be positive for your future timeline, even if it does not feel that way in this moment. Libra is about balance in relationships, and with the Venus conjunction to Saturn, this energy demands a need for balance. If your needs are not being met, some may, may be facing a final choice of commit or shift. The south node in Libra with Venus in the mix can also bring topics connected to changing beauty standards. Saturn in the mix can bring up topics connected to teeth and bone health, which might bring an unexpected trip to the dentist. Libra is also connected to the law, and with Saturn in Pisces, which is strongly connected to water, we could see laws changing or being set in place applying to bodies of water, or perhaps relating to water quality 
or pollution. On March 28th, Venus sextiles Uranus, which could activate whatever you are focusing on at the time of the new moon. We are so very excited to present our brand new channeled class, Chakras 101, which sold out within hours off the waiting list for our March 20th class in Clinton. We are working to book a second chakra class in Clinton, and we will keep you posted. The guides have really channeled a wonderful class here. It is interactive and different from anything we have done before. I thought I knew everything about chakras, but the guides proved me wrong as usual. Happy International Women's Day today. We are grateful to every one of you who has ever bought a ticket to one of our events or booked any of our services. You are supporting a business run by women. We also thank you as always for being here and supporting us and our channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing this video if you found it valuable. This helps get our messages out to others, and we appreciate your help so very much. Namaste. Love over fear. Always. <laughs>